So you're a young kid at a summer hockey camp, working on your wrist shot, practicing your pad saves. And this guy skates on the ice, no less than number 87 himself, hometown hockey hero, Sidney Crosby. A thrill for Ethan Brown, also of Cole Harbor. Just amazing how just being on the ice with him and being so close to like an NHL player like that. You can forgive proud parents for temporarily losing interest in their own kids. They're in the presence of hockey royalty. It's a chance of a lifetime, really, like you said, with the amount of people that applied to get in this and have him be one of the lucky chosen, almost like winning the lottery, being on the ice with the uh, best player in the world. A player who leaves the kids starstruck. The kids are having a great time, and it's fun out there, you know, being on the ice, the energy that they have. Um, they're trying to keep them all together. It's difficult at some points, but uh, they're really having a blast out there. Yes, for this week, these are Sid's kids. Thousands from all over North America applied. 160 got in, including some from Japan, all happily paying their $675. And it's all for a good cause. All proceeds go to the Sidney Crosby Foundation, which supports several children's charities. He wanted to bring this home. Like it was important to him to bring it to Cole Harbor. Uh, give kids not only from his hometown, but also other kids. He wants them to learn not just about on ice stuff, but off ice. Also here to help, Nathan McKinnon, the NHL's first overall draft pick in 2013 and Rookie of the Year, another product of Cole Harbor. It's, it's fun to skate with Sid and um, hang out you know, off the ice and stuff like that. So we, uh, we've definitely seen a lot of each other this summer. Um, I think he might be getting sick of me, so. All of this is a wish come true for Crosby. You know, wanted to find a way to give back and it just, it made the most sense. And for these kids, proof that their dreams, born on a frosty sheet of ice, can also come true. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia.